Right, uh, so we applied the Reynolds decomposition on the Navier Stokes equation and uh, came up with the uh, Reynolds average Navier Stokes equation. We want to have uh, now a look at uh, how we can apply that Reynolds decomposition on the uh, scalar transport equation. The scalar transport equation, remember, you need that sometimes, for example, to uh, determine where the, uh, the concentration of, uh, of a quantity in, in the atmosphere, for example, or the concentration of fuel in a, in a combustor and, uh, and, and so on. Okay, so the, um, we want to now derive the, uh, we, we start off with the scalar transport equation. For a passive scalar in this case. So, the scalar transport equation is the total derivative of the scalar itself, d phi dt, plus, no, sorry, equal to the diffusivity times Navier square phi square. Okay, so that's our transport equation just for the scalar, the passive scalar, and the Reynolds decomposition for the scalar. So the scalar itself is the function of x and t. That is the mean value phi is function of x plus phi prime is function of x and t. So that's the Reynolds decomposition for the Okay, let's write that out into index form. E phi dt plus uj e phi dxj is equal gamma e2 phi dxj squared. Okay, so we put in the, the decomposition. and average both sides. Okay, what you get then? E phi plus phi prime dt plus uj plus uj d phi plus phi prime d xj equal gamma of d2 by average plus phi prime dxj square. Oops. Okay. Um, if you go back to the uh, derivation of the Reynolds Navi uh, average Navi Stokes equation, terms like this we have derived already uh, quite a few times. And uh, essentially, this one is the same thing as, uh, as we did before, except that you have now um, uh, instead of uh, uj, uh, u mean plus u prime uh, plus uh, u fluctuation. Uh, you just have the same term. So it's relatively straightforward. Then you get d e phi dt plus uj uh, 
P5, X train, plus UJ, or plus UJ equation P5 prime, X train, C4, gamma, P2, pi, X train, square. And again, this part here, we can rewrite them. If you have start off with the uj phi prime, the xj, again using a product rule, you have uj the phi prime, the xj plus phi prime the ui, the, sorry, the uj the xj. This one is again zero because of the continuity equation. And this one is identical to this one. So we can replace this one over there and put it again to the other side. And then we can guess the following expression. E5 dt plus uj d5 dx j is equal gamma d2 phi mean dx j square minus e average of ui, sorry, uj phi dx j. Or if you pull, draw this again together, and then drawing this one together, you get B phi dt is equal sorry, dt, sorry, dt, is equal D dx j gamma D phi dx j minus uj phi prime. So again, you have an additional term. And that needs closure. And that's uh, why we need to have mixing models. For the mixing models, essentially trying to find an expression for this term. So to can close this uh, equation and uh, solve the, the uh, mean scalar transport equation for that.